December 17th and 19th, 2021, the West Coast Trailer Sailing Squadron went down to Calla Costa, as we've been doing for over 20 years now. It's one of our favorite trips because it is such a beautiful place and has such a nice anchorage. So a couple of ways to get there. Part of our group left from the north end of Boquilla from the seaport there, and after launching, went out Jug Creek and then down Little Boquilla Bay out into Pine Island Sound. They then went north around Patricio Island and headed over to Calla Costa. Tom and I decided to go the more traditional route, which is leaving from Eldridge up in Placida. You can either go down the sound, we decided to go out in the Gulf. Good morning, everybody. About uh, 11.40 here Friday, December 17th, 2021 with the West Coast Trailer Sailing Squadron. Uh, Tom is over there, and I are uh, out in the golf here. We decided to leave Eldridge this morning. I uh, got out about 10.30 and uh, headed west out the past up there. I think it's the little gas And uh, we're out in the golf now, and uh, the wind is kind of uh, east-southeast, and we can pretty much make uh, the pass at Boca Grande. Anyway, beautiful weather. It's like, I don't know, 74, 75. Nice wind, pretty steady out here, about 10, 12. Uh, just enough for full sail. And moving along nicely, around five knots or so, not pushing it. But it looks like we're gonna have very similar weather for the rest of the uh, weekend here. And I'm looking forward to uh, seeing everyone at Calla Costa and having some nice sails. Okay, we just are crossing uh, the pass here at Broca Grand. There's the lighthouse at Broca Grand, and that's Kaya Costa up ahead. Um, wasn't too bad today, even though the wind and the front were against one another. The wind's kind of light here, um, so just a tiny bouncy. But the uh, strong incoming tide of two and a quarter knots has really helped sweep us in here. So we're getting across with one tack easily. But uh, Probably be on the, the beach here in another 15 20 minutes. We'll see if anyone else is there. When I arrived, there was no one else on the beach. So after a short break, I decided to go out and meet the sailors as they came in. Eventually, everyone got to the beach. So I decided that I would go out, do a little sail, and do a sail by to show off the fleet. First was uh, Tom Seapearl uh, coming up next was Don and the Glen L12, a boat that Lonnie completed. Next we had Mike and his scamp. Lonnie and one of the many boats that he built. This is a Sharpie, a John Sharpie that he had built with Dale the winter before. And then Eric was on his Hobie Sport Cruiser with his uh, brother Bryant and Jonathan, his son's crew. Dale hadn't landed yet when I started, but as I turn around, you can see him on the Sarasota catboat uh, coming ashore. We set up for the evening had our meals, and after some camaraderie, went to bed and waited for the next day. Sunrise the next morning was beautiful. We were all up early to enjoy it. And after some breakfast, we made a plan to go to Pewan Point at the southern end of Calla Costa, and then over to the Stilt Homes and then back. The trip down to Pewan Point was slow for some because the winds died, but eventually everyone was there. And after some lunch, we headed over to the Stilt Homes. The ride back wasn't too bad. The winds got better as the afternoon went on, and the ice cream stop at the ranger station was much appreciated. Of course, we had uh, dinner again and another night's sleep, and Sunday morning came all too soon and it was time to head back. Tom and I decided to go back the inside route up the uh, sound and set off. 
Again, the winds were light, but built as we went on, so we started to make pretty good way. We decided to go back a slightly different way this time, underneath the tall bridge instead of the swing bridge. There was just enough clearance for my mast. Uh, it was no problem, other than we were surprised how shallow the water was in front of the bridge, but we made it back to Eldridge Marina, and after pulling out, had a lunch at a local restaurant, and dreamed of the time that we could come back to Kaya Costa once again.